A new federal regulation has been submitted in hopes of increasing background checks when selling and purchasing guns. But gun retailers say nothing is changing here. Fox 56's Joshua Coolen was in Monroe County today and spoke with a federal official and a local gun store about this upcoming regulation. It doesn't matter if your business is in a brick and mortar store or it's online through ads or at a gun show or flea market from your house or the trunk of your car. If you're buying and reselling guns for profit, then you need to act like the other 80,000 Americans who have licenses and, and get that license and run those background checks. An effort to increase background checks nationwide for those selling and buying firearms. But gun shows say that's something that's already happening in our area. I spoke to the owner of Tall Timber Tactical, who also hosts gun shows in the area. He says these regulations don't change a thing. When I advertise a gun show, the, one of the first things we do is notify the Pennsylvania State Police that we're having a gun show because they have to be able to prove it to do background checks from that remote location so a dealer's legal. Ralph Megliola hosts the Great Pocono Gun Show and says there is no such thing as a gun show loophole in Pennsylvania because all vendors have to do checks. He says at gun shows, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, the District Attorney's Office and state police are on site to make sure everything is legal. He says gun shows work to support their hobby in a safe and legal manner and often get lumped in with those who don't. If you're a guy selling 100 pistols out of your trunk in New York City, yeah, you might be illegal. But, and they're the ones hurting us. They're the ones hurting my business, the gun shop, and the gun show business. Cause the government expects 20,000 more licenses to come in after this changes nationally. In Canadensis, Joshua Coulomb, Fox 56 News, first to 10. The government says many illegal gun trafficking sales start with unlicensed vendors. The regulation will go into effect 30 days after it's published in the Federal Register.